The way I envision it, you would have an underwater vehicle where the outer skin is dynamically programmable. That would not only help you with reducing drag, but would also allow you to get rid of all those protruding appendages and allow the vehicle to move on demand by just changing the surface texture. Underwater or aerial vehicles, they have a lot of drag penalty and that reduces their fuel efficiency, increases the carbon emission. Uh, so a lot of effort is there to reduce the drag on these vehicles. The sphere idea came because we had an undergrad student who wanted to work on a golf ball aerodynamic problem. And we know that if you add dimples on a golf ball, it can go 30% farther than a smooth ball. And as it turns out, if you want to reduce drag on a golf ball, you need a different dimple depth, a different flow velocity. And then we came up with this idea, how about we can dynamically change dimple depth uh, with the changing flow velocity so that it doesn't matter what the flow velocity is, we're always minimizing drag. Okay. So in this study, we have come up with uh, an adaptive skin on the sphere, which is able to notice uh, the incoming velocity of the flow, adjust the dimples accordingly, and also is able to notice velocity changes. We believe that we can apply this concept to underwater vehicles and uh, maximize the performance of those vehicles by reducing the drag, which will lead to less fuel consumption, and also by creating lift, which will uh, improve the maneuverability of the, of the vehicle. Right from the data that we have, so we first capture all data and then uh, we drive. One very interesting thing we found was without rotation, just with surface morphing, we can generate as much lift as you would generate by rotating the bluff body. So if you wanna go, let's say right, you will actuate dimples on this side, uh, and then this vehicle will go right. And if you wanna go left, you will actuate dimples on this side, and it can go left. This is the first time, especially in our group, that we have developed soft robotic capabilities and we combined it with experimental fluid dynamics. And I'm looking forward to collaborations where we can bring in expertise in material science as well as soft robotics and merge them with fluid dynamics to do some very exciting uh, state-of-the-art research. <laughs>